And moving on now, the Congress political crisis seems to be becoming a bigger controversy. The Congress has now issued a statement condemning claims by, made by suspended Congress leader Sanjay Jha. Jha has claimed now that around 100 Congress netas, including members of the parliament, are distressed at the state of affairs within the party. Congress in its statement, however, has said there is no such letter and the Congress High Command is not in receipt of any such letter. They are adding that Jha is spreading a lie on directions from the Bharatiya Janata Party to divert attention from the Facebook BJP link, that controversy that currently ensues. Now the letter, as mentioned by Jha, comes days after Sonia Gandhi was reinstated as the Grand Old Party's interim president. Now the party has also gone through a month-long Rajasthan political drama, remember, erupting a war between the Young Turks and the Old Guard. If the Congress party is making a charge that I have done this at the behest of the BJP, I mean, that cannot be a more, uh, shall we say, brazen fabrication of truth. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, end of the day, I think that's so absurd and atrocious. I don't want to even dignify that response of the Congress mm -hmm. by my comment. As far as the 100 signatories are concerned, I can tell you it is my political, shall we say, morality Hmm. to not kind of divulge their names because there is a confidentiality to it. Otherwise, I would have tweeted it out as well. I would have put maybe the copy of the letter and mentioned at least maybe five or six names. I have mentioned that there are current MPs who are members of parliament who are part of it. So I think at the end of the day, this is expected. But I'm disappointed because the Congress should embrace the reality that there are people who are extremely concerned and then put it down in black and white. It's a written document. It's been with the Congress party for, I think, over a week, 10 days. And, uh, you know, there are enough people who are signatories to that, who I would call them as political heavyweights, who are definitely, in my opinion, outstanding politicians. Mm -hmm. They care for the Congress party. I deeply respect them all. And if they are speaking up to basically make uh, the party strong. I am one of the genuine few ideological supporters of a party that is completely compromised with what it stands for. Forget the BJP. I'm not joining any other political party. Mm. The statement that I have made is 100% authentic. And if the Congress party is now making this ridiculous charge that I'm doing mm. it on BJP's case, I mean, frankly speaking, I mean, that's as uh, uh, ridiculous as saying that, you know, the Dalai Lama is the president of the United States of America. I think it's a stupid Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.